Hi, Peter here. Uh, I want to talk about our new Spitfire model. This is this is the new Spitfire model here, right? This is really cool. Um, I want to talk about some of the features of it. Who's it for? Um, what's it good for? Well, the Spitfire is really like it's in the Battlefield Live theme. It is certainly um, styled loosely on like an Uzi. Um, but it's not exactly the replica of it, and that's for a couple of really good reasons. Um, the first of those is, look, a, a real loose is very, very narrow, like a lot of real weapons. If you try and put all the, the speaker and the board and the battery and everything into something that narrow, um, maintenance becomes a nightmare. We, we actually tried that about 10 years ago, going, well, we could just sort of squeeze it in, but then we can't fix anything and everything's really squashed up. So we need to make it a bit bigger, a bit more workable, um, but nevertheless has the general look and feel like of, of a Spitfire. Also, look in many parts of the world and, and certainly Australia, it's not really a great plan to actually go for a full replica. Um, we want it to, you know, be a little bit like a real firearm, but certainly not a replica one. And we also mark it with the orange tip here. Um, this this is the safety orange, well marked, pretty marked it. This this, this is a you know, harmless device. It's not a real firearm. That's pretty important commercially, but it's still it's really really cool. I mean, I I, I love this USB fire. So, what are some of the features? Well, the USB fire has um, the large speaker, which is standard in all Battlefield Sports products these days. Um, I find that the large speaker really makes the game a lot better. The, the loud noise, the, the deeper sounds that come out of a, a larger speaker compare very well to the small speakers um, used in the past. And they're a marine speaker, of course, and that makes them sure that they're water resistant. But, you know, so the Spitfire, and this one's happened to be configured with the Uzi emulation, could be any submachine gun. And then, you know, go to semi automatic. And there's, that's the dry fire sound. It's the amount of ammo. I'm going to try now reload. Yeah, hear the magazine drop out. Um, I'll wait a few seconds. Magazine goes back in. And away we go. Back to full auto. Now, it has a sensor on the here. This is a resin sensor, forward facing. This is really for someone looking to like blind firing, something like that. You, if they go around the corner, you know, you want to be able to hit on here. Um, this, along with the head sensors, mean if they really if they're engaged in the opposition, they're going to be exposed. And I think that's really good for the game. Um, yeah, LCD display, of course, uh, the key switch, um, very heavy duty trigger spine and handle, reload buttons here and here. But we, we are no fan of the um, magazines you take in and out. Sure, for hobby work. Uh, use that's that's a lot of fun. Okay, I look, I'm a gamer. That it's really cool physically take, but in practice on the field, look commercially that's just too much hassle. Magazines getting lost, uh, another complication. They over ram it, damage it. You just want it really simple. Um, it works really well here, and of course with the reload button. And if you're running on easy mode, you don't reload at all. It, it just reloads automatically. So. Mode switch on here, this changes to semi-automatic, full automatic, that's the black one. Right? And of course it has the integrated antenna, which goes to the um, RF module. And that's all part of our patented hit feedback system, which really transforms the experience. The hit feedback system on the shooting gaming gun, done in two ways. One, it's done for the red dot scope, and the red dot will flash twice when it hits somebody, and flash four times if it kills them. It also you can, if configured, make a sound like uh, kill confirmed or casualty uh, or dead already. If you're running laser tag theme, it's going to be talking about uh, tagged and deactivated and deactivated already. So it just depends on the theme, you can set that all in the software. Very flexible system. It has the 40mm lens, so a reasonable range. Um, it's not a long range, not meant to be. Um, you, that's for the things like the commandos um, and the maritas, a really long range. but, but the 40mm does provide very good performance right, out of a Spitfire. So, Spitfire for Battlefield Live themes, if you're going for a bit of an army theme, um, this is highly recommended. Uh, I, I like it because it's light as well. For a metal one, that's actually pretty light and it's pretty easy to hold on one hand. Uh, Two-handed is really, really easy to use. You can really use this from 10 and up. 
maybe even younger. I've actually seen seven or eight year olds running around with those. Although seven or eight year olds would probably want to be looking at the Cobra. I mean, once you get below um, the Spitfire, age-wise, you want to go for the Cobra, okay? But looking for a small metal gaming gun with an army theme, you really can't go wrong with the 2013 edition Spitfire. Um, very good addition to our I hope you enjoy it.